I've been playing acoustic guitar for a couple of years now, and I really enjoy it. I had a pickup installed on my guitar so it'd make it easier to collaborate with people and to plug into a soundboard. But then I had a different idea. Wouldn't it be great to go wireless? I found this battery-operated wireless mic kit at a dollar store, although it actually cost ten dollars. It's not very good, but it works. The pilot light on the receiver brightens when it finds a strong signal. I thought I could use this as a platform to demonstrate a proof of concept of a do-it-yourself wireless guitar pickup. The metal body unscrews by hand, the switch cover pulls off with tweezers, and this cosmetic plate pops out. The screws hold the switch attached to the main circuit board into the body. It's a good idea to put the screws into a little bowl so you don't lose them. In fact, put all the small parts there. The capsule support might be glued in, but in my case it wasn't, so it was pretty easy to get this apart. Then the main circuit board pulls out. It's a good idea to make a drawing or take a photo of the connections, just in case some of them fall apart while you're doing your work. You need to desolder the capsule, but it's so wimpy it won't stay still. I like to use a clamp to keep small items like this stable. I connect a short piece of microphone cable to a quarter inch plug on one end and to where the microphone capsule was attached to the circuit board at the other end. Disappointingly, the signal was weak and irreproducible. It turned out, for reasons I don't fully understand, I needed this piece of aluminum attached to the switch. So I put the collar back on. With the collar on, the signal was strong immediately and reproducible. So, time to plug it in and give it a try. And yes, remember, this is proof of concept only. I know that it's ugly. As a proof of concept, this has been successful, which means that it does work. Unfortunately, there's some downsides. It doesn't sound that good. This might be due to impedance mismatch, since the microphone is low impedance and the piezo is definitely a high impedance output. I don't really know. Anyway, proof of concept. It works.